major decision as Coach O.T. Johnson will approach the referee about something as we will move to 149 pounds where Dak Tangent, the graduate out of Glenville, Illinois, will face the number 11 ranked wrestler in the country, Jake Piccarilli, a sophomore out of Woodstock, Georgia. Tangent coming in at 11 to 5, 5 and 2 in conference, four pins and three tech falls. Piccarilli, 20. Two and four, eight and one in conference, seven pins, two tech falls, and six major decisions. Yeah, uh, Jake Pergrelli is a really good wrestler. I think he was a regional finalist last year, the way I know he's a qualifier. Tough kid, Tangan, really tough kid. It's going to be a great match. I believe this is a top 20 matchup, so I'm really excited for this. Couldn't quite get what Coach O.T. Johnson was complaining to the official about, but he will get a warning for questioning the official. I think he, it had something to do with the stallings, is what I was picking up, but. Uh, yeah, not, not 100% sure. There's an eye poke there. Yeah. 249 left here in pier number one. We're just underway here at 149. This is a mat preview of a matchup we could see in a couple weeks at the Super Region 2 tournament. Oh, for sure. Potentially for that region championship. Yeah, this is a match I'm excited to see at here and probably the regional finals. Tangling, pressing hard, not letting Picker really get any sort of attack as Picker really goes for the single leg. And our low three shot for Tangan misses. Back up to our feet here. Collar tie for, oh. Good little exchange there. A little elbow shot. Really wasn't able to score off of it. All right now, if you're tanking, you can't let Pembroke get any momentum right here. You yep. want to keep the train rolling on. 15 and up is your score here at 149. Yeah, you're going to look to get this upset and keep the points alive for your team. Expand the dual meet score. Halfway gone here in period number one. Looks for a misdirection single there. Looks like they were locking hands for a little bit. Couldn't quite get the call. Good little snap. This heavy hand fighting a lot of footwork right now. That's what happens when you have two good wrestlers going at each other, not letting each other get easy attacks. Seconds left here in the first period. A little double for Jake Pergrelli. Good defense by Jack. Comes up with an underhook. Jack goes, tries to go for the single leg. Pick really not letting him have it. Small one for Jack. Jack. Good little chain of action right there on the out of bounds line. About 27 seconds left here in period number one. No score here at this 149 bout. 15 to nothing is your dual score in the South Atlantic Conference Carolinas Championship. 10 seconds wind down here. And it looks like both wrestlers will probably settle for that 0 0 score line heading to period number two. Good little action at the end of the period. It'll be Pembroke's choice. He will choose down to start the second period, will not defer. And right now, if you're tanking, you have some a great opportunity to get some points that you couldn't get in that first period. Yeah, going to look to right top. On a, on a good guy like Jake, I'm sure we're going to end up going to our feet here. As, As Tang gets a mad return, lift. back onto the mat. Big lift for Jack. Gets a claw on the left side. Just jamming him forward. Tripod for Jake. He's back at his feet. And that was and good, escape. good spin out. Should get the escape. One nothing in favor of Piccarilli. Here, 30 seconds gone here in period number two. Good little face. A lot 
lot of head fighting right there. Yeah, both guys are, are very active on their hand fighting. Good foot movement, a lot of fakes, heavy on the head. So there's a shot from Piccarelli, re shot from Jack, nothing. And you just see great defense from both wrestlers there. Exactly. A lot of shots and counter shots that have not resulted in any offensive points scored. That's when you know you have two good wrestlers. When there's a really good attack and even better re-attack and no one's still scoring. <laughs> great defense, great movement. 47 seconds left here in period number two. Still 1-0 in favor of Jake Piccarelli. Tang keeps looking to dig his underhook on that left side. Hasn't been able to score from it yet, but. Looking ahead to period number three, you will assume Tangan will choose down, try to get sure. that escape point back. Yeah, I think we'll go bottom, try to get the escape, and decide this one on the feet. A little fake. A lot of fake shots here. Once again, these wrestlers can't seem to crack one another's great defense. Time will take down two and one. So one zero as we go into the third. Favorite. Tangan, as we mentioned, will choose down. How quickly can Tangan get up here? 24 seconds is on the riding time clock. We've got a caution, uh, false start for Jack Tangan. Try to get up a little bit too early. Yeah, it's never bad to take one of those, you know, trying to anticipate the whistle, so try to move as quick as possible. Every once in a while, that'll happen. Jake gets a claw on the left side. Tangan trying to build his base. He'll get up. Will he pick really goes for a map return? He'll get it. But once again, Tangan still has that base built. Got that single under right there here on this right side. Slides up to his feet. Had potentially dangerous swipe there. Oh, right up to his feet. Great job. Great, Jack great Tangan. escape there from Tangan. Slips out of it like snake. And we're even with 117 here to go. A little shot from Tangan. Not able to score. Tries to shoot him out. Now Jack's looking to shoot him out. And this is just a great bout here. Great defense by both wrestlers. On, the, on their feet. Minute left here in the match. See if anyone can get a score here before we go into overtime. Right in time, not a factor. 15 seconds favor Jake Piccarelli. Jake Piccarelli, sorry. What are you looking for right now if you're Tang and trying to get this takedown? You know, he's doing a really good job of, you know, hand fighting and faking, but he needs to find that angle just to get that one perfect shot. Got to find a little, little angle. It's and got the it single is. leg. And he's beautiful re-attack off that fake. He timed a perfect fake. He's in on a low single. Picker really attacking Jack's left ankle. No control on either side. Both has both have control of an ankle. Yeah, Jackson need, needs to get his head up. And this could potentially decide the match right here. Will he's got? Up. He's still got one leg. Oh. Couldn't quite get it. Good job by Piccarelli there to escape. Great defense, and five seconds left. Looks like we will be going into overtime here at 149 and that, pounds. And that seems like the fitting conclusion to this great bout. It will have to be decided on their feet. This we is will the most action-packed one-one match you'll probably ever see. This is good, good stuff. And we're back underway here in sudden victory. Both sides of the gym are going wild right now. For sure, yeah. Next point will win the bout. Jack versus Jake here at 149 in the South Atlantic Conference Carolinas Championship. Yes, heavy hand fighting still. One guy's got to find that one perfect attack to end this match. That's the thing. No one has found a great attack throughout seven minutes of action in regulation. Could probably serve. get it. Wow, Great wow. defense from Tangan. A little shot by Piccarelli. Jack able to defend. Wow. 
Crazy match. He looks for a sweep single, or a little knee pull single. He's in deep trying here. To, trying to do the turnaround to get the takedown here. Secure the match, we'll go for the trip. Nothing yet. Tega trying to slide out of it. And he'll, and he'll get the takedown, 149 pounds. Great match. Great match there. There's nothing you can hang your head about right there if you're Tega. That was two great wrestlers going at it that great will probably match. see each other in a couple weeks. For sure. I'm, I'm excited to see that one again. That's great action there. Great match at 149. 15 to 3 is your score as we move to 157. That'll make the dual meet score 15 to 3. 